and then grabbing the ruler and you can start with this line here just make one centimeter just make one centimeter marks if you're doing it with a ruler you're gonna have to do it like this but if you have like a cutting um, one of those like cutting boards or whatever they're called they make it so much easier but I don't so I'm gonna have to use a ruler I'm gonna mark off one centimeter on the bottom and then one centimeter on the top um, you're gonna need about 30 of them um, just go all along uh, here Okay, so I have marked off the top and the bottom. There's exactly 30 lines because the ruler goes up to 30, which is perfect. So basically what I did was I went from this edge here all the way to here. And then what I'm going to do is follow that dot with that dot and just make 30 lines and then I'm going to cut them out. Okay, so when you're done doing all the one centimeter lines, it's going to look like this. And also I forgot to mention before, but as I was cutting the uh, cereal box, I also made sure that the length was 30 centimeters as well. So it's 30 centimeters by 30 centimeters. So that's what it should look like. And now I'm going to have fun cutting all these out by hand. <laughs> okay, so these are all the strips cut out. And what I'm going to do now is trace the mirror onto this cardboard and cut it out. This is going to be the back of the wall piece. And just to make sure that it fits just like that. So we're going to be gluing the strips onto this cardboard piece. And if you can find um, either like a tea plate, teacup plate or whatever they're called, or like a lid of some sort, um, it's good just to keep in place. That might be a little small. Um, okay, I don't really have anything else, so I'm going to have to use this. Okay, so apparently I wasn't recording the part where I showed you how to do um, the next step after cutting them out. But I recorded 10 minutes of the camera sitting on the chair. Okay, so for this step, um, basically you're just going to grab both ends, you're going to put some glue on it. I don't have the glue gun on now, but I'm just showing you, you put some glue here. So you have glue right there, you're going to want to connect both ends, and then you're going to want to pinch the end, wait till that dries, and then bend it like this just like that. Alright, so as you're gluing the strips down, you should start forming a uh, circle like this around it. Now these don't have to touch, you kind of just have to um, put them in, um, kind of just put them in a circle like this as you go, and then when you're actually gluing them down, then you'll worry more about where they are, but for now, uh, just make sure that you have enough to go around. So if you wanted, you could even just leave it like this. I mean, like, obviously you have to glue each of the sides together. But if you wanted just one row, you could leave it like this, spray paint it, and it's good. Um, I already put the mirror on top. Oops. Um, so what you have to do is glue all that down. Get rid of this in the middle. And then glue the mirror on top of the design. And I kind of just messed everything up. Uh, but you could also just have it like this. But what I'm going to do is make another row when I'm done. 
so that it's a larger um, art wall piece, whatever you want to call it. Uh, so yeah, I'm just going to finish doing that. So I've never done this before, so I am just kind of making it up as I go along. <laughs> So obviously this is not going to be enough and I'm going to have to cut some more strips but um, for now what I'm going to be doing is placing them down um, kind of like a centimeter apart on here as well just going around just like that and I'm going to glue these down right here. Okay, so I have them all glued down. It's probably not going to be enough glue, so what I'm going to do is go over top and kind of just make a circle with the hot glue gun. Okay, so hopefully those will stay until the mirror comes on. <laughs> so the next step is gluing the sides together. So directly in the middle, you're just going to want to dab a little bit of glue and kind of like pinch the sides so that they all stay together. Okay, so that part is done. They're all glued and it's all staying so far. That's what it's going to look like when it's up. And then the next row is basically going to be gluing that against that right there. So for the outer corner, I just put the glue on where I put the glue previously. And then you kind of just want to slip it there and squeeze tightly. And then you're going to want to put some glue there, some glue there, pinch those sides. And then also put some glue there and pinch that side. So it's all going to look like that. Kitty is being my helper. Right, Kitty? Kitty? <laughs> okay, so I have finished the first row and now I'm on the second row. And so I did make 30 of these strips. And I thought that, that would be enough to do two rows. But clearly it's not. Again, I've never done this before. So what I'm going to do is I've already counted... 16 um, empty spaces so I've lined up 16 more strips and I'm going to cut them out and attach them on here. Okay so this is what it looks like when it's all glued and now you could spray paint the whole thing whatever color you want and then once you're done spray painting it you're going to place the mirror well you're going to obviously glue put glue all around here and then place the mirror and then I'll show you when it's all done okay so this is the final product sorry the lighting sucks in this room but that's it there and the spray paint that I used sucked so I'm probably gonna have to go over it again with um, some white paint trying to get a good picture but I'm in a little tight hallway so that's it there it's my first time attempting to make this from a picture so it's not exactly like the picture but it still looks nice so that's the view from like the hallway you see that on the wall I think it's pretty cute it's not perfect but it's good and I might have to figure out a better way to hang this because right now I don't know if you see the screw right there, but um, the screw is already there. So that's it. Um, you guys can like, like I said, you can change the length of these, add like a third row, make them smaller, or even um, not add the second row. It still looks really pretty, just the one. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's really cute. Adds a little something to this blank wall. <laughs> Alright, thanks so much for watching. Bye!